Um, hi, the, the Welsh Government has just announced an increase in the pupil deprivation grant of £50,000 over the next couple of years for the second schools in Torvine. I'm here with Alan Roberts, who's the Welsh Liberal Democrats Shadow Education Spokesman, to tell us a bit more about it. Okay, well, the pupil deprivation grant was one of our priorities. Um, it was first introduced three years ago now, and um, the Welsh Government were planning that the grant went back down to £480, which is paid for each pupil in every school in Wales who is in receipt of free school meals or who is looked after by the local authority. Um, we've managed, as a result of budget negotiations that we've had with the Welsh Government, to increase that to £1,050 uh, per pupil next year, and the year after, which is the final year of this assembly term, it will be going to £1,150. So it's good news for schools in Torvine and elsewhere. I read that in Torvine, um, I think for next year will be approximately £456,000. Yeah. The following year, 2016-17, it just creeps over half a million. Yeah. Um, what kind of projects, what kind of work will, will schools be doing to spend this money? Well, those are the figures for the secondary schools. The overall figure for Torvine is, is over £2 million. Um, and there's guidance that's been given by the Welsh Government, um, learning the best use that can be made of the money. Um, it's actually trying to help sort of improve uh, people attendance at schools, uh, also looking at what strategies they can be so the, the reason why we introduced this was that pupils who were in receipt of free school meals were 40% less likely um, to get paid to GCSE than, than the same child who wasn't in receipt of free school meals. And clearly, we're hoping that all these strategies are in place, the schools would look at what works and will use that for their own individual circumstances. But the decision might very much rests with